Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today we're talking about your biggest communication mistake. Are you ready? Let's get started. Well, we all communicate every day. We do it without thinking, and we all make this mistake. Some of us make it a lot. I don't want to bury the lead, so I'll start with the mistake. The mistake is that we focus on our message, on what we're going to say. You would say, well, wait a minute, Kevin, if I'm going to communicate, don't I have to know what I'm going to say? Don't I have to know what my message is? Well, yes, but think about these three statements. How many times do I have to tell them? I already told them that, and I sent them the email. Message, 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 and Frustration on all three, right? The mistake that we make is we focus on the message. What we need to do instead is focus on your audience first. Because you see, if we want to get that message received, it has to be received by the audience. So we need to think about them, who they are, what they care about, what they know, what vocabulary will work, what examples will work, what's their past experience. We got to focus on the audience first. The message is already there. Let's focus on the audience first. So what I have for you is to, is to help you answer some questions to help you think about that. What do you want them to know? What do you want them to know? What, that's the, that is the message, but what is it that you, what are the key points that they need to get? Number two, what do you want them to do? What action do you want them to take as a result of your communication? What do you want them to feel? How do you want them to feel? What do you want them to take away from your communication? And what do you want them to decide? What do you want them to decide? What decisions do you want them to make? You see, our communication at the end of the day is about explaining ourselves, persuading others, and influencing them, which means it has to be about them. Now, a while back, I had the chance to speak to a great big group of middle school students, and it was a very different audience. And in that moment, you would say, well, yeah, Kevin, if you were going to talk about the same things, in fact, the four things I talked to that middle school audience about, I've now shared on Remarkable TV episodes. But all of us would say, well, if you're going to talk to junior high students and middle school students, that's going to be very different than your normal audience. And so you're going to have to think about that, Kevin. And I'm suggesting that our audiences are always different. And so we need to think about them first so that we can get to the understanding that we need so that we can understand the context so that we can have the communication success that we want. Because communication isn't just about us sending our message. It's about other people receiving our message. And so that other person, that receiver, that audience is important for us to keep in mind. Let's make sure we avoid our biggest communication mistake in the future, okay? Let me close with today's tweet. If you want your message heard, understood, and remembered, start with your audience, not your message. If you like this video, this may have been the first video of mine that you watched, and if you liked it, let me tell you, we've got a whole series of them. It's called 13 Days, and here's how it works. Each day for 13 days, you get an email that gives you a link to a video like this, shot in this studio, but different in that each one tells a story and then makes a leadership point. And then you get a job aid, you get a downloadable tool that you can use to help you implement the ideas from that short video. It's called 13 Days to Remarkable Leadership, and it's yours for free if you sign up right here. And speaking of video, every week I'm in this studio shooting at Remarkable TV for you. I hope you'll come back for the next episode of Remarkable TV.